I stopped using Cursor with Cloud Code as my dedicated AI coding agent and instead I switched over to Dropstone. In this video, I'm going to explain exactly why I made that move. So let's start with what Dropstone actually is. Dropstone is an advanced self-learning development environment that goes far beyond tools like Cursor or Cloud CLI. So at its core, it functions as a generational recursive self-improvement AI, meaning it can analyze the code it produces, learns from its mistake and refines its ability without external prompting. So instead of acting like a simple coding assistant, Dropstone behaves more like an autonomous engineer. It can generate UI, backend and infrastructure code, test and optimize its own outputs and even integrate with new capability into itself. This makes it much more powerful than conventional AI coding tools because it doesn't just assist, it evolves alongside your projects. The most impressive part is that it's completely free. If you have a powerful computer, for example, if you own a Mac with an M1 chip, you can run Dropstone seamlessly with open source models and without any limits. Unlike Cloud Code, which restricts free users. Also, if you're on a free plan on Dropstone, you can make about 50 agent requests per day. This is more than enough for traditional students, but when it comes to developers who are working long hours, then you might need to get a pro subscription. It can handle massive open source benchmark models like 200 billion parameter model. If your machine is strong enough to run it, Cropstone can easily replace every other coding tool you are using right now. And even if you are on a lower end PC, you can still use lighter models like Quen3 for smaller tasks while still enjoying Cropstone's features. In my experience, it performs better than Cursor and Cloud CLI when it comes to long, complex programming workflows. According to my perspective, what truly is its Dropstone agent is its self-learning intelligence. If it makes a mistake in your code, it learns from that mistake and doesn't just repeat it. This level of adaptability is what we need in our current AI tools. And that is not present in Cursor or in Cloud CLIs or any other AI coding tools that I have used so far. So I tested this myself and it consistently performed better than both Cursor and Claude in terms of learning and improving with the use of it. From a UI perspective, Dropstone delivers what you would expect from Cursor and Claude. So there is no major difference here. Dropstone really stands on tops when it comes to large or complex tasks, particularly in backend systems, where Cursor or Claude simply can't keep up with. All right, so let's see how to install this. In order to get started, you just need to download Dropstone so you can do that by heading over to dropstone.io and uh, just click on download and once you launch the app the interface is very user friendly and straightforward so you'll feel at home right away and another key feature is that Dropstone will actively raise questions when it needs clarification on your logic or requirements this makes collaboration with AI far more natural and reliable if you can provide clear answer Dropstone becomes the only tool you really need. In my recent project, it performs exceptionally well in logic handling, implementation and overall workflow management. Of course, like any new tools, it's not perfect. I've noticed occasional bugs such as invalid chat request or slight lag in performance. But apart from this, Dropstone has proven to be exactly as advertised in their website. Nothing else like this exists as of now. And I'm genuinely thankful to the team behind it for making this Dropstone free because they have given us a free tool that not only runs powerful AI models locally, but also keeps our data securely on our own machines. You can talk freely to your own AI without any restrictions. And since the model stays within your laptop, it's a huge win for enterprise level security. This is exactly that kind of technology companies need to make their development workflow faster, safer, and smarter. So that's pretty much it. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.